Hi my dear friends, this is me Gokul Siddharth back again with my 5th episode wherein I am going to discuss about the amazing and interesting facts of mathematics. My dear friends, let us discuss the 3 cross 3 magic square. Here it goes. The 3 cross 3, 5 cross 5 or 7 cross 7. So it all contains the odd number of rows and odd number of columns. So this method is only applicable to those type of magic squares. Let's see. Now, you can consider any digit. So I am considering 20 for my convenience. Okay. So 20. Okay. So you, you need to enter this digit only in the middle of these, these, uh, this row. That is, this, is, this uh, box is the middle. That is the center when you compare to these three rows. So you can, so these three boxes, so you can enter this digit in any one of the middle boxes. You can enter this digit here or here or here. But this seems to be more convenient to me. So I am entering 20, that is any uh, digit in this box. So now the, the rule is very simple. Right for diagonal, so there is no box to so come down. But you need to enter the next digit only in the last box. You, you cannot enter here. That is not the rule. The rule is you need to enter here. Only then the magic square satisfies and it forms a perfect magic square. Now, right for diagonal to the left. There is no box so to the left. The next digit is 22. Now, right for diagonal there is a box. There is the, the digit is entered in the box. So you must only enter the next digit down. 23. Now rightward diagonal, there is empty box. Then rightward diagonal, 25. Now rightward diagonal, there is no box. So you need to enter the next digit here, 26. Now rightward diagonal, to the left, there is a vacancy, 27. Right, rightward diagonal, down, there is vacancy, 28. Now my dear friends, I call it this as a magic square. So the reason is, if you add these numbers, so let us add 25, 27, 20. So what do you get? It is 12, 72. So the sum total is 72, right? So when you add this, you will get a 72. And when you add this row, you will get a 72. When you add this row, you will get a 72. That's the magic square, my friends. When you add this column, you will get a 72. When you add this column, you will get a 72. When you add this column, you will get a 72. That, that, that's how. When you add this diagonal you will get as 72 that is the speciality of magic square my friends in order to find the total you can do it as the simple method is 24 into 3 gives 72 that is how you can get the sum total of 3 boxes so this is the 3 cross 3 magic square My dear friends, now let us see the 5 cross 5 magic square. It is pretty much interesting than the previous one, the 3 cross 3. Let's see. The method. My dear friends, the method of solving this 5 cross 5 magic square is the same as the method used for creating 3 cross 3 magic square. Now let's see the method. Let's solve it. Now, let's enter a digit in the center box when compared with the 5 boxes. Enter in the center box. So, I am entering as 10 for my convenience, for easy calculation. So, according to the method, rightward diagonal, then bottom, to the end, 11. Since there is no box here, to the bottom, 11. 
Now rightward diagonal, there's a box and we 12. Then again rightward diagonal to the left at the end 13. Now rightward diagonal, there's a, there's a box empty 14. Now rightward diagonal, there's a box filled. So at the bottom 15. Now rightward diagonal 16. Now rightward diagonal 17. Now rightward diagonal to the bottom 18. Now rightward diagonal to the end 19. Now rightward diagonal, there's a box filled. So you need to enter the bottom of 19 box that is 20. Now rightward diagonal 21. Now rightward diagonal 22. Rightward diagonal 23. Now rightward diagonal 24. Now rightward diagonal, there is no box, so you need to enter here. 25. Now rightward diagonal to the left at the end, you need to enter 26. Now rightward diagonal to the bottom 27. Now rightward diagonal 28. Now rightward diagonal 29. Now rightward diagonal is a box where so we need to enter the next digit here 30. Now rightward diagonal 31. Now rightward diagonal to the left there is a box empty at the end 32. Rightward diagonal 33. Now rightward diagonal to the bottom at the end 34. So this is how we create 5 cross 5 magic square. And the whistles of this 5 cross 5 magic square is pretty interesting too. Let's see the whistles. Now my dear friend, for some total, in order to find the total of all the rows and columns, diagonally and anything, we need to consider the middle, middle box, that is 22, into 5, 5 to the 10, 5 to the 10, 110. So, the fact is, the amazing fact that I am going to share, there is, same thing, to add all these rows, you will get 110. Same base. If you add all these columns, you will get us 110. All columns. And if you add all the row, all the numbers diagonally, you will get us 110. So that is what man, that is what my dear friends. Max is always interesting and amazing. My dear friends, I love mathematics and you know in order to sharpen your skills, in order to sharpen your brain power, your memory, you need to like get involved or get in touch with Max every day. And you can, by doing that, you can avoid many uh, horrible brain diseases like Alzheimer and all. So, just develop interest in solving Max, like uh, learning interesting facts related to Max. Like, share, comment my videos, and subscribe my channel for sure, my dear friends. Thank you.